door has opened. The door has opened. Well, that's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. At high speed drop, and now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. 
said something, Kim. Family applauding, but you can see by the little dot that he's in controlled descent. So two minutes. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Record is So you can understand that. He said the advisor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's the shoot. There's the shoot. now. There's, there's from the helicopter now, under canopy, floating safely, floating safely down to earth. Baumgartner, elated, tears of joy from Mission Control, as Felix now approaches the ground. So, so we're, we're now at 6,000 feet. So he has the highest jump. We can't find you. The one you did work. There he is. There's a closer shot. Closer shot from the helicopter. Beautiful shot. Coming your way, 
Under parachute, you have quite a, quite a bit of control by pulling those. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing. And the altitude out there, I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, don't come clear, guys. Don't come fucking clear. Hey, don't come clear. That means to drop a smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see, he wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Mark Thompson, the technical director of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there and he's down on the earth safely back. on his knees. What a shot. So he has the new record. So in there fast. He has the world's record now for the highest jump by far. around 28,000 feet, so more than 24 miles up, successful after all this training, all this work, all this time, there is the capsule being lowered, it has been cut away from the balloon, its parachute deploying automatically, and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the pictures that are there. There's Family celebrating. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed, out to the east of Roswell. Unofficial word there on some of those, those statistics. It was a four minute and uh, this was for that. It would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think that's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his pressure suit. But that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mock, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. And he broke the record, as we mentioned, for the highest man balloon flight.
So after some tense moments, the issue in flight with the visor, which was successfully resolved. The aerospace history has been made today. Austrian pilot and parachutist Felix Baumgartner has done it. Made Red Bull Stratus mission to the edge of space a part of the record books. A successful climax to years of careful planning and development. Along the way, there were setbacks celebrating on the ground there at the scene now. More celebrations will follow here at Mission Control. So we're still awaiting final confirmation, but unofficially, new world records have been set for the highest free fall ever, the fastest free fall ever, as well as the highest ever manned balloon flight. And today was also a big win for science as the Red Bull Stratos team collected. The coverage doesn't end here. For more updates, including reaction from Baumgartner and the team, we encourage you to visit redbullstratos.com. So for now, this is Robert Hager saying so long from Roswell, New Mexico.